Aloha and welcome to At the Crossroads. I'm your host, Keisha King. As you can tell already, I have something different going on today. We are going to talk about love and relationships. So when the camera pans out, you'll see I even have a red table because we are going to have a red table talk just like my girl, Jada Pinkett Smith. Every week she gets on Facebook Live with her mother and her lovely daughter, and they talk about real tough issues. One said issue was their talk and discussion with her famous husband, Will Smith, about their marriage. That red table talk discussion spanned their 20 plus year marriage and I was just so shocked because they're in Hollywood and they made their marriage last for over 20 years. Oh. But as I looked, I recognized so did Samuel Jackson and his wife, so did Denzel Washington and his wife, and even Tom Hanks had a really long marriage in Hollywood. And you know what's funny? Justin Bieber just got married. So now we're looking at the future of what marriage looks like and will look like. And hopefully they'll have a 20 year long marriage or more. Well, today's guests have also experienced marriage for over 20 years and they've had some ups and downs and they're gonna share with us the secret to making marriage work. So tune in lean in and join me as I discuss love and relationships for my Red Table Talk this month. Today's guests, Rod and Roshan Broussard. Excuse me, you guys. That's okay. Right. <laughs> Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. It is totally my pleasure. I am so glad you guys are here okay. at the Crossroads. We're glad to be here. Yes. Awesome. awesome. Definitely excited about it. I am Great excited. Experience. I'm excited to see y'all. <laughs> I'm excited to hear. I can't wait to get right down yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. So I've introduced you all as people who've been married over 20 years. Exactly yeah. how long have you been married? 22 years to be exact. 22, 22 years. 22. Yes. Wow, congratulations. Yes. That is Thank worthy you. of applause. Give right. myself a pain. Wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me some depth right, with that one. Right. Okay, I see you. I see you. Okay, that's good. 22 years. Yes. Give yourself a hand. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. So, how did you meet? You want to try this one? Because, no, you know, I got I, my version of the story. I'll let you, I'll let you Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say my version of the story is the right one, the more accurate one. Mm -hmm. We met. We'll find out. Yeah, right. <laughs> we met back in, uh, I want to say it was 93-ish, 4-ish, um, mm -hmm. when I got stationed out in the military, the Navy, got stationed out in Southern California. Okay. And we met at a beach. There was a little beach on Sunday evenings. A lot of the young folks would go out and hang out and everything. That was the first time we met each other. Ah, oh, yes. nice. Now, you pick up from here. Well, I thought it was in the club. Oh, that she said, how did we meet? So there was a how did we meet, and then there was how did we get connected. Okay. When okay. did we start okay. dating portion? So, okay. yes, it was at the beach. Uh-huh. And we used to go out there with <laughs> all of our friends, just listening to some music, having a great time. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman just drives oh, up so in nice his car. <laughs> yes, and drives up in his car. And he's looking at me. I'm looking at him and wondering, why is he looking at me? Oh, okay. Yes. And then what happened? Well, we, we kind of, you know, knew a lot of the same people. Yeah. So we knew each other. We didn't really know know each other. Uh, we end up at the same different place, different parties, things mm -hmm. like that. Some years fast forward, went, went um, down the road. And I believe it was um, one night at a club. Mm -hmm. I it was a bass club. Okay. And we ran into each other. Uh -huh. Now, I tell it from this angle. <laughs> okay. I warned and I see her. We hadn't seen each other for a while. And she saw me and she stopped up against the wall and, oh, and did one of these numbers like her <laughs> breath was taken away. And from that point on, I say that's where the dating portion started. That's how we continue forward in our relationship to where we are today. 
Oh my. That's so my version. That's your version. <laughs> that reminds me. Y'all remember that episode of Martin when Martin is telling the story about how he and Gina met and he was like, she floated across the oh floor. My Lord. <laughs> I played the horn. Mm. I was a man. That's what that sounds like. That's his version. That's his. That's what's yours? Vivid to this day. I still had that recollection. No, my version was <laughs> he was up against the wall. Oh. I was not paying attention to him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him, uh -huh. but I was not paying attention to okay. him because there was other things going on. Oh, and okay. So we'll just leave it at that. Well, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> okay. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay, got Whoever it. was there yes. against the wall and saw somebody, y'all yes. ended up dating. Yes. yes. And then you eventually got married. Yes, mm -hmm. we did. Wonderful. So then what happened? You have children now? Or? Yes, we yes, do. We're a blended did. family. So okay. I have a daughter and she has a son. Um, okay. They're in their 20s now. They're grown individuals. And and wonderful children. 29 children. and 23. Yes. Out the house? Out of oh, the yes. house. Give me some on that. Oh, yes. Oh, All yes. Right. Oh, yes. That's good. Empty nesters. <laughs> yes. That's what we're doing right now. Well, empty nesting <laughs> looks good on y'all. <laughs> y'all living it. Living Thank the life. You. <laughs> it ain't easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I understand life in general is not easy, but marriage, mm -hmm. marriage has its struggles. Yes. I yes. mean, it has its ebb and flow. It's ups and downs. Yes, it does. I'm wondering, have you had some ups and downs? Oh my goodness, come on now. <laughs> We've had a little bit more than ups and downs. Is that oh, right? Yes, yes. Drag outs. Yes. Oh, oh my. Go ahead. Well, I mean, <laughs> 22 years, where you want us to get started? I mean, there's a lot of things that happened over the years. Yeah. Military man, you know, mm -hmm. come and go a lot. Um, many of the travels, different places, I had to plug the family, move to a different place, had to reset, get reset all over again. Mm -hmm. um, I was always told in my former years, in the early years of marriage, I was too militant, too hard, and I used to bring that mindset home, you know, and didn't know how to separate work from home. Mm -hmm. So that was a, a lot of our problems, you know, the way mm -hmm. I communicated. Now, that's what I was going to hone into, because we, here in Honolulu, Hawaii, we have a lot of military yes. families. Yes. Mm -hmm. And first of all, thank you for your service. Are you still active? I'm retired. Retired. Yes. Congratulations to yes. both of you. Thank you. But being from in a military environment, mm -hmm. I know a lot of families who struggle with the husband coming home and he's now back in charge, mm -hmm. whereas the wife had or the other spouse, because it's not always the men that mm -hmm. go away. Sometimes it's the woman who's in the military, but whatever spouse is left home, they have the huge burden of carrying the family until the other yeah. spouse returns. So yeah. you faced some challenges in that area? I did. And when he was gone, I had to take care of the whole household. Mm -hmm. So financially, emotionally, uh, physically with mm -hmm. the children. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it, was, oh, it was rough. Mm -hmm. And then him being gone for six months at a time mm -hmm. in the Navy and mm -hmm. having to deal with temptations, having to deal with... Um, what else did we deal with? Not communicating that often yes. mm. because we were not able to communicate that often um, because of him being gone. A couple times he was out to where he was on the ship. Not too much communication at all. And so that communication portion was a, a, a key thing for us that we had to really work on. It was a major factor. Very, a major, very major, major factor. And yeah. so it was very hard for kind of going back to what you were talking about him being gone. It was hard for me to give over the reins oh, and the control. Oh, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> give the control back over of the house when he came back home because I had things structured, things were done a certain way, mm -hmm. the kids went to bed at this time, we mm -hmm. did this. It wasn't hard. She didn't want to give up the destruction. Well, yeah, that's, oh. that's, that's to put it, put it <laughs> how it was. You know? Okay. But we have this transition piece they do for the military where they yeah. kind of, they talk to the spouse, they talk to everybody, and they say, okay, when you transition out and when you transition in, mm -hmm. because they know it is a challenge for, you know, for individuals, especially when you've been given that responsibility to have to take on and be mom and dad. Mm -hmm. And you when know, yeah. the other spouse comes back, it's like, they, you know, well, all the time we're ready to just kick the foot, you know, the door in and say, hey, I want to get, put my foot down and get back <laughs> to normal. And we had to learn we can't just yeah. do it that way. We have to ease back into it. Mm -hmm. We have to work with the other individual that's been home all that time because life for them kept going on while we were out doing what we had to do. Right. And a lot of times mm. with this one here, <laughs> it was some struggles. Okay. She didn't yeah. want to let go of the reins. Mm. Yes. <laughs> some control issues. Yes, I had some control issues. <laughs> I like how you said that. Like, you're just so put together. Yes. Mm. I had some mm. control issues. Yes. <laughs> Didn't want to give up the money control either. Oh, yes. You know. I understand. 
Okay. And that, that was a, a main issue, too, because, you know, when they're out on deployments, they make a lot of extra money and have a tendency mm -hmm. to just spend it okay. frivolously. So, yeah, yeah that was you, Did you spend it frivolously? I did. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're both honest with each other now. I don't yes. know what it was like then, but at least well, you were able to rough. tell it. Well, let me tell you, it was one rough. time I came back and I was hot. She was showing me all the stuff she did at the house, which was beautiful. It was wonderful. But that's not what I told her I wanted her to do with the money. And I left. Oh. I left. Left as in? Left the house. I took some time and some hours. I was gone. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Were you afraid? Yeah. 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 I had to learn how to give over that financial portion back to him. Mm -hmm. It was hard. I am not going to lie. It was very hard. So I'm hearing a few themes. I'm hearing communication. Oh, yes. Yeah. But your communication was unique. Most couples have a problem communicating with one another, such as how do we argue with each other? Mm. How do I say what I need to say without totally destroying someone's feelings? Um, but you all are saying that you had an issue with just being able to reach one another because you were on a ship. Well, not just that, not just the physical portion, mm -hmm. but also too because we're both strong. I like to say <laughs> she's a little more stronger sometimes, but we're like a bull in a ram. Okay. There are more, more times that she's more vocal, mm -hmm. and there are those little moments that I get a little vocal myself. Mm -hmm. But little. because we're <laughs> <laughs> we're very Offense. strong and opinionated and set in our way of wanting to get our things across, that neither one of us want to yield, mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of our friction caused from, and that's where a lot of our communication mm -hmm. or the lack of the communication came from. So it wasn't always just because of the physical barriers; it was because of the barriers that we set. Because one wants to always be in that, that, that forerunning place. And the other one just like, no, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to sit here and just wait for you to, to tell me or dictate. No, I want to go ahead and tell you what I feel. And it's like, wait a minute, one of us have to yield. And we never wanted to, to be the individual to say, I'm going to yield and give you that, that space right now. That's wonderful mm -hmm. that you all are able to articulate that so well now after having experienced mm -hmm. it. But I'm wondering if there are other couples out there who are just like you all who have faced those communication issues or those money challenges or those control oh issues. Um, we're going to, in our second segment, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about how we can help them. And then there's a special event before we go to break. Why don't you give us that special event that's coming up at, um, you, you tell it, is, is it at the Captain's Club? You want to go and handle that? Well, it's going to be on February the 16th, and it's going to be at the Hickam Officers Lounge. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be from 530 to 930, and it's called Learning to Love the Agape Way. Okay. And it's a lot of individuals coming together, married, single, engaged, to where they're coming together, and we're going to show them how to love the Agape Way and also just have fun. We got music, dancing. Yes, yes. You know, I like okay. to get my groove yes. on every now okay. and again. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we have games and, uh -huh. and prizes. It's going to be an awesome event, and it's forty dollars per person. Mm -hmm. And you can go on to uh, CORCC website, and you can purchase your tickets there. And you also can go on to eventbrite.com mm -hmm. and search under CORCC event, and they also, too, will be able to take your payments. Awesome. So we yeah. are going to make sure that we get that information out to you all. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching At the Crossroads. I'm Jay Fidel of ThinkTech. Our flagship energy show among the six energy shows we have is Hawaii, the state of clean energy. It plays every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Come around and see us. Learn about energy. Keep current on energy on thinktechhawaii.com. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that, you know, may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Aloha and welcome back. You're watching At The Crossroads on thinktechhawaii.com where you can also watch us live on Facebook. As I always say, live at five on Wednesdays. <laughs> and then after the show, you can watch us on YouTube on the Think Tech Hawaii channel. 
I'm here today talking about relationships and love. We're talking to a wonderful couple who's been married for 22 years. And they've had some great experiences, some unique challenges, and they've overcome them all. And they're still married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking with Rod and Roshan. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. So you've talked a little bit about communication, mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. respect, about money, about control, mm -hmm. and yet you survived all of those challenges. Did it get any worse? Did it go any deeper? Those are universal issues mm -hmm. that we've all faced. Did you have anything else that g gave you pause within your marriage? Oh, oh yes. yes, most definitely, most <laughs> yes. definitely. I mean, there, there, there's a, a lot of things that brought a lot of pause. I mean, some serious, not even when you say pause, uh, like a slam on the brakes, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and there's been infidelity, you know, that, yes. that was a major blow, a major mm -hmm. blow. Um, like I said earlier, with the transition of always coming and going back and mm -hmm. forth, uh, with not just with the job, but the physical movement, that, that takes a lot out of a family. It takes a lot, mm -hmm. you know, when you have to up and plug and move your, your, your family to another place and relearn people, get to another ministry if you're in church, you know, a lot of different things that you, you know, you take for granted when you're in one place for a set amount of years that you don't have that when you every three or four years moving. Mm -hmm. um, health issues with families, you know, mm -hmm. our parents, you know, that, that's been another uh, major, you know, challenge as well. I mean, yeah. you want to share in there because I don't want to take up the whole spot. Well, as we were talking about our communication, communication was a big issue for us because we didn't know how to communicate with one another. That's what led to um, us learning how to later on the art of listening. Okay. We didn't know how to listen to one another. We were hearing each other, but we weren't listening. Mm -hmm. And so in that process, it brought about, as we spoke, the infidelity on both of our parts. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just on one end, it was both of our parts to where infidelity had taken place and when we learned how to communicate and when we learned how to listen, mm -hmm. that, first of all, we had to really bring God into our relationship. Yes. Yes. Because without God, we wouldn't have been able to function, be together, and stay together. You know, uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm hearing you say that. And I'm thinking infidelity is one of those things that for a lot of couples could yes. be a deal breaker. Oh, yes. yes. That ends a marriage. Yes. What caused you all to stay together? Well, like she just said, God, essentially, that means that right there, it was the breaking point for us. Well, also, too, in we were we were living in Virginia Beach, Virginia. OK. And 2010, I remember um, one of the pastors that we were under, he came and prophesied to us in regards to our marriage ministry <laughs> being birthed. And at that time, we was like, what are you talking about? We were already marriage at the crucible. What? Oh, my goodness, yes. yes. Dare I say you were at the crossroads. Oh, oh, we, yes. were we were at the crossroads. crossroads. Yes. Okay. That was the crossroads of together, divorce. Yes. Mm. And we were actually on the verge of divorcing. Both of yes. us having our, our own plans that we were getting ready to yep. do. With the other one not even knowing. We were just waiting for our son to graduate high school. Sure was. Wow. Yes. So there was a plan in place to yes. divorce. Mm -hmm. You stopped, yes. obviously, and you've made it this far. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 2010, that's, um, that's eight, nine years ago? Yes. Ten years ago. Almost. Almost ten years ago. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations on oh, making it you. beyond <laughs> that. We'll thank touch you. into that. If I haven't mentioned it to you, our viewers, already, this is going to be a two-part series. So this lovely couple is going to come back, and we'll have another guest as well who will come back and share with us about making it through uh, tough challenges. We're also going to talk to singles, right? Because I'm going to ask them in just a moment any advice they can give us for singles, um, who are contemplating marriage because your event is not just for married couples. No, it's for singles as well. Okay. Yes. So it sounds like you all are actively involved in some way in a marriage and singles. We, um, well, we like to label it relationship. Yes. So that way we don't just pin it down because if you say just marriage and the singles that may be thinking about getting married, who may have been married before, want to get remarried, they feel excluded. So when you mm -hmm. say relationship, it opens it up for those that yeah. are currently married mm -hmm. and those that are seeking or wanting to get married. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So now this event is the 16th of February. Yes. Okay, and that is for relationships in general. Yes. That's so wonderful. It's good that you all are doing this, but I want to kind of touch on what advice you would give any other married couple who might be facing what you all mm -hmm. face. I'm going to let you handle this one. Wow. <laughs> the Pointers. advice I would give, I would speak to the women. Okay, well, you tell. Okay, women. I'm going to speak to you. Learn how to respect your spouse. Learn how to understand his communication. The way that he communicates is so different from every other man that you may have been in a relationship with. Do not put him in a box as being who that other person was who may have helped you. So respect, communicate, and understand him and learn his five love languages, and okay. you will be successful. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. What advice do you have for the men since she channeled in <laughs> on the women? <laughs> well, brothers, one thing, if I could not tell you nothing else, you have to learn how to, first of all, humble yourself in your relationship. A lot of times we have a lot of pride because we are the man, because we are the head, because we are, are the set person for the mm -hmm. house. And sometimes we become a dictator, sometimes we become too overpowered, too puffed up in ourselves. If we learn to humble ourselves and understand this person that you have with, this is your teammate. Yes. She's not against yes. you, she's not your enemy, she's your teammate. And as you understand most of us as we do sports, we have a role. I have my role, she has her role. If we understand the definitive of each other's role, then allow her to be what she, who she's supposed to be in her role and humble yourself and let's work as a team in every area, every capacity of your marriage and your relationship. Those are some good tips for both the men and for women. And I think they would be good for anyone who is not married, mm -hmm. thinking of getting married, engaged. Um, so your event that's coming up is about relationships. Will they get more teaching like that? Maybe. Well, this, is, this, is, this is a fun event. This is okay. it's never, yes. We don't yes. teach anything like okay. that. We just yes. want people to come out and just enjoy themselves okay. and just have a good time. You know, this so, is no, no, you know, sit down. We're going to, you know, lecture anything. Yeah. It's just solely to have fun, mm -hmm. enjoy, socialize, and just, you know, feel like you can be a couple together. It's almost like a little date night for those. And then for the single, just to know that they can love themselves, you know, enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. mm. Self-love. Yes. Self-love is Self -love. the best love. love. Self-love is the best love. Yes. I love it. Godly <laughs> self-love is the yes. best love. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I absolutely love it. I love what you all are sharing. Mm -hmm. I love just everything about you, you know, because your story is, it's not really unique in that everybody faces challenges. Yes. Yes. And some people do overcome those challenges. Mm -hmm. But I think what makes you all unique is the fact that you're willing now to share it. Oh, yes. You're willing to share it. So when yes. we come back um, next week, we'll talk a little bit more about some of those tougher challenges mm -hmm. that you all have faced and maybe dig a little deeper, right? Sure. Okay. We're going to end up as friends, but I do want to get <laughs> down to the nitty gritty. Most I definitely. Want to know. I definitely. got to know. The listeners want to know. The yes. viewers want yes. to know, right? Yes. So we'll do that again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all for being here and for sharing with mm -hmm. us. And I'm thinking that, you know, this is something you probably won't do just once, right? I'm thinking that you, you have other opportunities to not just come here, but other places. Have mm -hmm. you all ever considered that? Well, we've talked about it. Yes. It's, it's something that we know is in our near future. And, um, okay. you know, it's something different for me because it's not my wheelhouse. My wife, that's her, that's her thing. You know, she's <laughs> okay. the bubbly one. <laughs> I just love to help people. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. In any kind of way that we can. Mm -hmm. And in this arena with relationships, it's very key because relationships nowadays are just going through the ups and downs. Yeah. And many people don't know how to address certain things. So that right. is one of our greatest gifts is being able to help those yes. who cannot help themselves and giving them those tools. Right. And because we went through so many different things and God has allowed us to weather those storms, we want to be able to give people something that they can have a sense of hope to know that, hey, I can come through this as well. Right. Yeah. If they made it through, then I can make it through. Yes. And, yes. and we do want to leave people with hope. Um, one of the things that I'm big on here, the name of the show is At the Crossroads because many of us come to those crossroads mm -hmm. in life where we sure do, do have to make a change in direction. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those changes are not planned, like it sounds like it happened within your marriage. Unplanned, we are not always prepared for it, but when you come to a crossroads, 
It's your perspective that makes the difference. Yes. If you have a good perspective about it, then hopefully you can make it through whatever challenges you face mm -hmm. and come out on the other side successfully, as you all have done. Right? I will agree. Awesome. Yes. awesome. We definitely had to change how we think. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, that could probably lead to an, another half hour of talk oh, yes. <laughs> because yes. there's a process to that. It Changing is. your perspective and how you think is not an overnight job. No, it's no. not. And 15 seconds or less, just give us a little insight on what that was like for you all. Well, for me, changing the way I thought meant for me to look at Roderick. Mm -hmm. Look at what did I do or did not do to cause whatever friction, to cause whatever issues were in the, in the home and in the relationship, especially in dealing with her. Introspection. Yeah. Yes. And that yeah. is so hard. Very, yes. very hard. <laughs> it's very hard because yes. when you are doing it for real, for real, oh, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts because you yes. get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we don't like ugly. Mm -hmm. And we don't like ugly. <laughs> no. And I used for an example before the show that sometimes we have a tendency to put things under the rug. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you put it under the rug, it grows so big to where you are fall, falling over that thing. Mm -hmm. And when you don't necessarily go under there and start pulling what's up under there, mm -hmm. it just stinks. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. starts stinking after a period of time. And so at that crossroads, we had to stop stinking mm -hmm. and get all that <laughs> stuff from up under that rug uh. and start dealing with it one piece at a time. And it was rough. Yes. And some, some of it wasn't in one piece at a time. Some of them were just thrown in it. In the mix. All at once. Yes. 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 Look, I have to stop you right there. Okay. <laughs> I have to stop you right there because it's good and it's getting good and we're getting revved up again. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to have you all back for two parts. We're going to have them back next week with some other guests and we're going to talk a little bit more about love and relationships. And this red table that you see, we're going to do this maybe once a month because we need to have some of those tough conversations that people don't always want to have because mm -hmm. it's not easy and it's not like the latest gossip. It's not who got married like Justin Bieber and what, mm -hmm. what's going to happen and how long it's going to last. But it's important stuff that we really need to discuss because here at the Crossroads, we want to help as many people as we can to help them improve their lives, to meet them exactly where they are, and to deal with those difficult issues that are real and relevant. So, as I always say, I'm your girl, Keisha King. I'm really a woman, but I'm your girl, <laughs> Keisha King. I'm like your friend. And we get together every week live at five on Wednesdays at the crossroads. I'll see you next week. Aloha.